In a field just outside London is an extraordinary sight. There are more than 200 London cabs here, gridlocked in the green belt. This is one of the city's growing number of taxi graveyards. Vehicles that no passengers want to hire and no driver wants to rent. We are struggling with some finance companies because they need their funds paid in. However, if you're not renting the vehicle, you can't, you can't pay what's not coming in. Between June and November of this year, nearly 4,000 of these iconic London black cabs came off the road. That's more than 20% of the total. And they're ending up in graveyards such as this. A couple of hundred here, hundreds more in other garages and lock-up areas all around the capital. And the question is whether any of these vehicles will ever make it back out onto the road again. Among those drivers still clinging on at the taxi ranks, the view is bleak. Yesterday I worked six hours. I went only with 28 pounds. So today I've been out uh, nearly four hours now. I have done only two jobs. Cab leaders warn that with more than a quarter of the current fleet being zero emission electric vehicles, taking taxis off the road is actually doing more harm than good. We were an industry back in March that was investing 50 million pounds a week in new electric vehicles and new electric infrastructure and those vehicles now are in danger of being repossessed. We're in position where we could be going backwards rather than forwards, an absolute disaster. That sentiment is endorsed by this clean air campaigner. They've not had the support that other sectors of the economy had, have had. And what I would like to see is the government putting support in and using this moment, the, the billions and hundreds of billions of money that are being spent, into driving the taxi industry and other industries towards much cleaner vehicles. Since its introduction in the 1950s, the London black cab has been a British design icon. But nostalgia and style cannot by themselves keep these vehicles on the road. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Essex.